Street. For those of you who just tuned into NHK World, you're seeing live coverage of Miyagi Prefecture in the Sendai area where a tsunami has struck. A major earthquake hit Japan on Friday afternoon. Japan's meteorological, aid, meteor, meteorological agency says the quake measured magnitude 8.4. The agency right, has uh, issued a tsunami warning for Japan's Pacific Coast to some of that tsunami in Japan. They, they keep talking about an 8.4. Of course, what we're dealing with here is an 8.9 magnitude quake, a great quake. And I, I want to make the point, too, I've actually received a, a tweet here from a person who's in Japan. I've asked them and sent them a tweet to ask for their number so we can talk to them. But they're saying frequent aftershocks the first time in my life in Japan. So this is a, a, a traveler, a tourist in Japan who's tweeting to me and anyone else who is in Japan who wants to send a tweet, uh, please take the time, feel free if it's safe to, at, uh, at, uh, um, at uh, Rosemary CNN. Um, so, uh, you know, do get online if you can and send a Twitter. But uh, let's go back to these pictures now. I might just get that sound turned down in my ear if you don't mind. It's a little distracting just from the, from the pictures. Thanks so much. Now, we're looking at uh, all of this debris on the ground oh there, just God, moving right How across high is it? I think it's at least uh, Japan, three meters, coming no. from the coastal areas. We see the, the, yeah. the boats, we see cars, we see mud, all the debris moving through Jesus, there. Thankfully, that. a lot of this is farming area, and but it is moving into some buildings there, and we saw some ablaze on the ground. I want to go back to Ivan Cabrera, see what additional information Ivan has. What are you finding out? What are you learning now? Well, we just, wow. we just had another major earthquake on offshore of uh, Japan, a 7.1, which would one. be uh, 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 devastating enough, if, uh, certainly uh, shallow enough and closer to the shore. Some of these folks in these farmlands and some of these buildings have no idea what is happening right now. They are perhaps 100 plus kilometers away from the shore, and they are seeing on a sunny day shore. in Japan uh, are this coming in. Away. I mean, uh, unless you're watching TV, unless you're listening to the radio, you're not going to have any idea what's coming up here. So uh, this is where we get the casualties, where folks are not uh, aware of what's coming and not able to reach a higher ground. So uh, unfortunately, the, the, the tragic thing is we're seeing uh, that, that wave of mud and debris and buildings and fire just encompass some of those uh, homes there. And uh, we hope they're empty, but uh, certainly... Uh, some of them probably are not uh, rosemary there. So uh, there you see the initial wave coming in. People are still driving also, towards Also, I want to keep monitoring uh, folks in the back, the, the shoreline, uh, because I wouldn't, again, this has not happened once. So we are talking about a tsunami that it's comes in, one. the first initial wave, and then we get another wave and perhaps even a third wave after that. With an 8.9 great earthquake, that shallow, that close to the shore, there are going to be more tsunamis that coming in, so we'll have to watch that just very one. closely there. Here's that doesn't uh, look good there. You see the uh, breakers uh, there again, an ongoing threat here. So uh, this is this is going to be uh, historic indeed. It, uh, indeed, right. and where people can, and of course it is very difficult, you need to get to higher ground. And any of those countries we've mentioned, any of the coastal oh areas, God, it's you need big. to move, and you need to move quickly that and get to higher big. ground. I, I've got uh, Matt Alt on the huge. line now. In, he's uh, talking to us from wow, Tokyo. Uh, he was there, of course, uh, when this earthquake hit, uh, now an 8.9 uh, 8 magnitude quake. Matt, uh, tell us, tell us about the situation for you when this, uh, this uh, magnitude 8.9 hit. Well, it was absolutely unlike anything I've ever experienced before. I've been living here for eight years now. It not seem like a too high the on the same no, 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 Yeah, the way they come through the bridge. Fire up that breaking. And that's it because it's like the shore, our reporter yeah. there was saying that she thought it was four to five minutes. Was that was that your your sense as well? Oh, it, yes. The ground was rolling for 